Welcome to Babonga's channel. Let's make a floppa mask with paper mache and paper clay. Check the description for paper clay recipe and everything else. First thing, we use cardboard strips to construct a kind of hollow helmet and then test it. This very basic part has to be covered with newspaper and glue and then be let dry. Now we need to bridge the large gaps. We are going to use again white glue and newspaper. We bridge the gaps forming the eyes by just gluing fresh newspaper and glue to the dry part giving it at the same time the shape we want to make it strong and durable we need at least two or three layers of this and because actually the whole thing stands in the air we need to be very gentle careful and take our time to do it after doing both eyes we go and bridge the area under the cheekbone we need to retain this curve again we use at least two layers because in fact there is no support and after finishing the first side we go and do the same to the other side and it looks like this now we have the large gaps at the top of the skull to bridge this I'm gonna use some more cardboard strips for support like this and again I'm gonna follow the same procedure applying carefully some layers of newspaper dipped in glue this way I'm gonna create the first half of the dome again using at least two layers and when I finish this I'm gonna do the other side and now the basic mask is ready and to proceed I have to let it dry to give it the distinct features of a cut I'm gonna use this very easy way with aluminum foil just to add very basic shapes for the mouth and nose as you see I just use a little mask tape to add them there when I feel it's okay then I use some more masking tape to secure the pieces in place and of course the next step is to cover everything with at least two layers of paper mache until no aluminum foil or masking tape is visible we have to be very careful to cover from all sides this is the underside it has to be fully covered and after it's done I need to let it dry once more now I'm gonna do the floppa ears I'm gonna use just some aluminum foil folded 
into a square and then a triangle. And I'm gonna shape this triangle to look like a large pointy ear. After making two of them, I'm just taping them at the top of the skull, being careful of the position. And of course, as you probably guessed, again, I need to cover everything with two layers of newspaper and glue. Maybe I need three layers because the aluminum foil is pretty soft and I don't want it to bend. In any case, here it is. Take care of the back side too. For the next step, I'm gonna use some homemade paper clay. But first, I need to apply white glue where I want the clay additions to go. First, I'm gonna do the nose, giving it a more soft and round appearance. This step is totally up to you. That means how much detail or anatomy you want to add. Some parts of the floppa face don't have to be covered, but here around the eyes I feel that I need to add more features. In total I added homemade paper clay at the cheekbones, at the nose, around the eyes and at the brow and a little bit at the base of the ears. And the final result looks like this. And now I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna use acrylics to paint the floppa. But it's not gonna really be a floppa cut if I don't make the floppa ears. That means the tufts at the top of each ear. I'm using yarn and a very basic way to make them. In fact, yarn is only one of the choices that you may have and probably the easiest. There are other materials that you can use. Now, I'm going to make two of these and stick them at the top of the back side of the ear with a little white glue like this and just to be on the safe side I'm gonna add a little piece of newspaper there to cement it in place and after I do this for both ears, I'm gonna paint black to integrate it with the rest. And this way you can make a floppa mask. <laughs> 